This is Torino again. This is episode 17, and it's the uh, first episode after the new year. We've had a lot of rain days, but uh, today's a big day because we're having a, a, a large concrete pour here on the roof of the garage. And today we've got a lot of extra guys helping out for mixing. We tried to get a mixing machine, but it didn't work out. So we're gonna have to mix by hand. And right now, uh, I don't know if I'll have too much commentary, but it'll be mostly, mostly video and some drone footage of what we're doing today so you can get a kind of a scale of it. Uh, right now we're pouring the, the beams first, the, the ceiling beams, and then uh, we were going to wait and uh, pour the, the actual slab um, tomorrow or the next day depending on the weather. But everybody's here and they said they don't mind working all night if it takes, if we have to go to a you know, past 6 p.m. in the dark, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we may be able to pour the entire thing. Uh, we've got some additional gravel and sand and cement ordered, uh, but it is Sunday, so we'll see what happens. If we get them as materials, we're going to try to do the whole slab. I'm here up on the ceiling or the roof and uh, I'll try to give you a little walk around of, of what you see here. In this corner is where this, uh, the CR is uh, going to be on the inside the garage. But I extended the, all the necessary plumbing to have room on the, on the roof if we ever decide to either enclose the roof or put a, put a uh, partial roof on. We can have plumbing up here for a CR and the sink. So what you see as I walk around uh, first is the, the rebar that we're using uh, all over the, the mesh. It's going to be, uh, it's about four by six uh, as far as the spacing of the rebar, 12 millimeter rebar for the, for the main mesh Steel decking. This is, uh, I think it's called pan type and it's one millimeter thick. We have poured uh, the, the beams. Uh, we're not complete yet, but we're, we're making a way around the perimeter, pouring the beams. And you see, this is going to be some electric here. I'm running my conduit for of course, other lights in the garage and also CCTV cameras on this corner and the opposite corner of the garage. Our drain pipes, these are storm drains, water drains that are inside the columns, so we're able to hide those. This right here is the cantilever overhang in front of the garage doors. And we'll have four outside lights right here. There's another water drain. The guys here are in process moving their way down each beam as we bring buckets of cement, or, or, excuse me, of concrete up and into the beam forms. I have a uh, my my electric vibrator uh, runs on 220, and I also picked up a a portable one which runs on a 20 volt battery which is kind of handy. Uh, one of the other unique things about the ceiling 
is the, the engineer, you know, he designed it so we don't have any columns in the, inside the garage. And you see here is um, where those three, three columns in the garage would have been. We're strengthening that area here with another mesh on top of the existing uh, floor mesh to strengthen these particular junctions of the beams. And this, these dimensions are about, about three, three, three inches, three or four inches. See, see these, these three extra meshes on top of the junction of the beams where there, where there would be columns, but we've removed that and strengthened the whole roof. Uh, also, on, uh, inside the garage, I uh, decided to have uh, six lights. And 150 watt uh, LED lights are called uh, high bay lights. And there'll be six of those. And we've gotten some stainless steel rebar. And that's going to be embedded in the concrete in the roof. And then underneath us, there'll be a hook where we hang those lights by some, some chain. So I think that'll be a good aesthetic look for hanging those lights down there, stainless steel, and then maybe some some chain, maybe some uh, old rusty boat chain or something like that. Look kind of cool, I think. As I walk to the other side of the roof, this is a little parapet for the stairway. So there'll be stairs right here coming up. And then of course we're turning on the roof. We're going to have, um, I think we're going to have two, uh, two series of uh, concrete hollow block for our roof and then for our edge of our roof and then we're going to use uh, two inch stainless steel railings all around the perimeter roof. So. Even if you're sitting down, you you won't uh, feel like you're being blocked from the breeze or the or the view. And today it's actually a good, good day for for pouring because it's overcast. We don't have any direct sun. These guys won't get burnt to a crisp. And we've got a nice breeze. And just hoping that the holds the weather holds out and it doesn't rain on us. We are using the standard 3-2-1 mix of cement, one bag of cement, two bags of gravel, three bags of sand. I think I got that right. But uh, on the, on the ce uh, ceiling here is the first time I'm, I'm going to try and add mixture. We've got um, a product that you can use either to extend cement or to, to uh, strengthen the cement, depending on how you use it. So we're going to use it to strengthen. Um, we're going to use one bag or one sachet of the it's called Rayo mix, similar to T by mix or T bay mix, and uh, one sachet for every uh, every bag of cement. And this allows you to use less water in your mixture.
a busy day. comments down there and uh, let me know what you think let me know what you think I'm doing wrong or what could be better I'm open to suggestions thanks for watching